Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your PC start up faster and I mean faster as much as much as we can from the like software side so your PC is not going to get any faster if you don't have enough RAM so you know go and start when I run and then you can type in MS config and press OK and then you'll see this thing will come up and it will norm normally be a normal startup for you so uh, you're gonna go and start up and then like you can see all the uh, programs that that runs when your computer starts so you can uncheck the ones that you don't want to run so that you will load it faster instead of trying to load these you will just your computer will be a lot faster because you don't need all like Microsoft Zoom I don't need them to all start at the when, it, when the computer starts so you can also uncheck some services like uh, Adobe Acrobat Update, Flash Player Update, Nero Update, uh, Google Update, Nero Update, and all this, and things like that. Um, it's better if you hide all Microsoft services because these uh, all Microsoft services are really like the ones that really can mess up your computer if you don't know what you're doing things you can uncheck are like um, a background intelligent transfer I don't know what that is but it's just useless and uh, there are a couple of things you can uncheck in here but it's better not to like un uncheck any of the Bluetooth support we don't need to like we don't need Bluetooth when we start off the computer you might need it though but not for me so uncheck the ones you don't want to start up then you obviously you can run them after on but it's just like pointless to make them start at the same time so as you can see now it's select a startup and that is it guys and press ok uh, it might give you a warning that you might need to restart your computer but you don't actually have to so exit without restart and the next time you log in then you will just be safe Another thing you can do is, is download CCleaner, which uh, removes all the temporary files. Uh, as you can see in here, all the cached files from before. So it's good, like um, it's a good cleanup method. Like instead of cleaning from your browser, um, you can just one click from all the browsers you have and all the prefetched data as well. So there are some other settings like menu order, which uh, cleans your uh, start menus and things like that. In the applications, you can see there's Google Chrome. You can uncheck the passwords if you don't want to. If you don't want your passwords to be removed, and all you have to do is just run cleaner, and then it will remove all the. So you can see I've run it before. That's why the memory is low. So it's, it just clears up all the like temporary files in your computer. So and. It will also remove any like old files you have logged in and like cookies and things like that in your browser. So a uh, run clean and uh, that's it. And it cleans up your temporary files. And on the registry, it's like there might be something like uh, system interrupts, which helps to remove some in system interrupts. There's like missing registries, like files wrapped from uh, previous installations. So you're gonna you can save your registry files and make a backup of it in case something's wrong. So that that is it, guys, and that's all. Um, I would really recommend C C Cleaner. It's really good, and all you have to do to get C Cleaner is it's completely free. You have to go on Google and then like type in C Cleaner and download, and then you go on their website. It's pure from C Cleaner, and it says there are some professional versions but I don't see any point why you would buy any professional ones although if you want to you can do but the basic one just does the job like the free one so all you have to do is download and you can just set install it I'm not gonna install it because I've already done it so yeah thanks for watching guys if you have any questions just drop it in the comment below and keep watching for more videos